Hi, this is Roger Conrad. I'm editor of Utility Forecaster. What I want to talk about today is a subject that I've seen is on many people's minds uh, through your uh, viewer email and so forth, and that is inflation. Um, we haven't had a whole lot of inflation over the last uh, couple of years, but it's certainly been a major factor in returns on income investments across the board, uh, really from time immemorial. Uh, you know, basically there are two main risks that income investors face. I mean, first of all, we have to stick around. We have to hold on to our positions in order to capture the dividends, distributions, interest, and so forth. So that means we are exposed to two major risks. And one is credit risk, the other is inflation risk. And obviously credit risk has been the most important one over the past um, couple of years or so in this bear market, particularly since the fall of Lehman Brothers last September. Uh, you know, when we had the credit freeze and a lot of concerns about uh, payout ratios, can, com can companies maintain distributions? Obviously a huge wave of distribution cuts in several what were up to that point very popular income investments such as real estate investment trusts, uh, financials, which are of course uh, uh, and per per bank preferreds, those types of things, which uh, a lot of the, the mutual funds are really loaded up on. Um, really a disaster area in, in a lot of these things. Utilities, on the other hand, were not. I mean, utilities, uh, we had basically four dividend cuts out of about 150 companies. Um, and all of these companies are kind of the exceptions that prove the rule. Over the past, since the, the fall of Enron in 2001, utilities have systematically cut operating risk, they've cut debt across the board, um, and they become, as a result, much stronger and much harder uh, targets uh, in, in terms of uh, companies, operations, distribution, safety, and so forth. And that's really showed up in the last uh, la in this recession. We've seen some uh, drop-offs, for example, in electricity uh, usage, uh, particularly large industrial companies really cutting back their usage at the fastest rate since 1950. Uh, you know, uh, power prices dropping in many areas. They're, they're pegged to natural gas prices, which have really collapsed, but also demand has come off. But earnings have just been absolutely uh, uh, pristine, I would say. Uh, you know, very, very, uh, at least uh, flat with your earlier totals. And again, that's because they've really done a good job cutting operating risk, cutting financial risk, and so forth. So we've had four dividend cuts. They've all been companies that had really unique situations where their operating risk, where their debt was higher um, than, than it should be. And they, so therefore, they, they've made cuts, and now they've all four stabilized. Uh, so, really, exceptions that prove the rule. Now, the question is, you know, here they've survived all this credit risk. What happens when inflation becomes a bigger factor? And, you know, in this decade, in 2000, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, and again in 2007, every year we had sort of an interest rate spike. We had a, a, a worry about inflation, a worry about growth running a little faster, and income investments across the board sold off uh, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty hard each time. Now each time um, within a couple of months things seemed to stabilize and rates then came back down and we had a tremendous rally um, you know in income investments including utilities uh, going into the end of the year and into the early part of the next year before again we hit another rate spike. So we had this kind of cycle take place uh, for really five consecutive years. It all ended in 2007 then when uh, the, the general economy began to, to really, really take it on the chin um, but again, uh, you know, that's been, our, that's been the pattern uh, over time. And I think that that will continue to be the pattern when we return to a normal time. Uh, right now, though, I think that what you see with utilities as well as most income investments, they're still moving um, kind of a, uh, in an opposite way that they've moved historically. In other words, they're moving cyclically now rather than counter-cyclically. Historically, when growth has been steaming ahead, more inflation, income investments tend to go down. Uh, when growth is slowing down and, and people are, uh, you know, want something more conservative, income investments tend to go up. Exact opposite is what's been happening over the past year. And I frankly think that that's what we're going to see over the next uh, six to nine months uh, and, and maybe even longer. Uh, right now, people are very focused on the economy for good reason. There's a lot of, very, a lot of weakness there uh, and basically very little uh, sign of inflation, although what we do see tends to get very hyped, at least in some circles. Uh, but uh, right now, what we're going to see, I think, and you know, the trading pattern is that when the economic news is good, utilities and everything else rallies along with it. Um, and I don't think that's, uh, gonna, that, that uh, relationship's going to change anytime soon. I think, uh, for one thing, valuations are still much lower than they were um, a year ago in the utility business, particularly utility stocks. 
uh, utility, and particularly uh, go back a couple of years. Uh, and um, I think we're going to see that gap close. So I think inflation will become a risk to uh, utilities, but I think we're going to see some considerable upside over uh, and, and before that happens. Um, and then, of course, we'll have to, to reassess what we own. Um, as longtime readers of Utility Forecaster may be aware, I tend to focus on companies that grow um, and because growth is really the, the best antidote to inflation. In other words, a company able to grow can grow those dividends and that keeps up with inflation um, and, and therefore uh, limits risk to principal. That remains my focus. Uh, you know, I've spiced things up over the years in Utility Forecaster with some uh, companies that are denominated in foreign security, uh, foreign exchange, such as uh, Canadian uh, companies, Canadian trusts, non-trusts, um, and the Canadian dollar tends to act as a uh, uh, counterweight to inflation or an inflation hedge because it moves with oil prices, and oil prices, of course, move with inflation. So uh, I, I'm employing things like that. I'm mixing things up. But again, the, the, the fundamental underpinning, how we're going to beat whatever happens with inflation is going to be growth. So uh, people ask, well, should I be thinking about selling utilities now? Absolutely not, um, if you're in very good, strong utilities. And those are the ones that we've been telling you about over the time in Utility Forecaster. I think in the near term, we've got uh, some very strong upside again, as the economy cycles out of what we, what, what's been going on. And then number two, uh, you know, the very strong companies will weather the inflation uh, going forward because they can grow. So, bottom line is stick with your positions, and I think we have a lot more upside uh, in both the short and long term. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to chatting with you next time.